Hello there, my name's Carsten. I'm responsible for transmission development at MGMBH. I'd like to tell you something about the manual gearbox in the new M3 M4. In contrast to the competition, we decided to continue with the manual. With a well-tried H layout, six gears and reverse with a safety lock like on the car's predecessor. One new feature on the new M3 M4 is that we've made the shift assistant freely configurable, regardless of the driving program used. You get to the shift assistant via setup, on and off. In off, I can still rev match myself. In on, the car does it automatically. We already know the gear lever knob and the covering from the interior. It's the only part of the gearbox you can see. Here underneath, it's the actual gear lever, the shifting rod, doubly attached to the bodywork, doubly attached to the transmission, for maximum stiffness and gear shift precision. As regards manual shifting, I think we have one of the best gearboxes available, which is why we haven't undertaken any other optimization. We've only adapted the amount of strength needed to shift gears to compensate for the size of the gear stick. Inside the gearbox we have the well-proven dry sump lubrication from the vehicle's predecessor for ideal gear lubrication and minimal plunge loss. The only electronic component in the manual transmission is the gear sensor, so that the vehicle knows which gear has been selected and can thus undertake the correct rev adjustment for the shift assistant. On the transmission's input shaft we have the trusty two-disc clutch with four friction layers on two clutch discs to transmit the torque and allow longer clutch slippage for optimum acceleration. The next component is the dual mass flywheel with the fourth friction layer of the clutch. Along with the clutch we kept from the F80, F82, we've taken the new engine flange geometry from the S58 with a larger starter gear rim. And we've reinforced the crankshaft flange in the dual mass flywheel from three metal plates to four. So to finish with, there's the obvious question, manual or automatic? I'd take the manual every time because you can't have better control of the vehicle than that.